It's finally here. GPT-4 has released and you can start using it inside of ChatGPT. But before you start using ChatGPT to create those long form blog posts, there's a few things that we should talk about first. When it comes to AIs, they fall into two categories. You have generalized AIs such as ChatGPT, GPT-4, and all the previous iterations of GPT, which also includes Google Bard, which we're not gonna talk much about that today, versus specialized AIs. And these are AIs that are programmed to complete specific tasks. One of the main reasons why you'd use a specialized AI versus a generalized AI is time saving. For instance, if you wanted to create a killer blog article, we'd want an AI that's specialized in a certain area, such as writing blog articles, that's able to deliver the highest quality possible as well as saving you a ton of time. If you're having to do a ton of handholding with the AI itself, it kind of defeats the purpose of using the AI in the first place as your main objective is quality and time. As well as do optimizations and add things in like key takeaways, click to tweets, and all these things that make your article seem and look human, a generalized AI just won't get you there. The best way I can put it is that a generalized AI will get your article about 20% at a time. You'll have to continuously practice prompt engineering in order to get that prompt exactly the way that you need it in order to get the best article possible. And even then, the article still isn't going to be published ready. You still have to run it through an AI detector, check all the facts, add in personal story and images, table of contents, and if you want that additional flair like things like key takeaways, click to tweets, and stuff that makes your article better to read and really nails that Google Eat formula, then you're going to need an AI that specializes in doing those tasks and doing it reliably and quickly. So with GPT-4 being introduced into ChatGPT, I thought we'd put it through its paces. The article that you're seeing right now was written by ChatGPT with me giving it several different prompts. I had a continuous iterate and ask it to continue in order for it to write a 2,500 word blog post. And by the end, the article still needed a ton of revision just in order to make it publish ready. A problem that I ran into while using ChatGPT, especially with GPT-4, is that I kept on getting network errors. This adds to the amount of time that it's going to take me to create a long form blog post inside of ChatGPT significantly. I then have to force ChatGPT to rewrite the section of the article that I wanted to write. This is frustrating, especially since I'm a ChatGPT Plus member. Now, one of the pluses about ChatGPT is that using GPT-4, the AI detection has gotten a little bit better. As you can see on screen right now, this is the current result from the article that ChatGPT wrote. That's pretty impressive, and it's a jump up from where ChatGPT was even a couple weeks ago. Alternatively, let's take that same keyword, put it through Continent Scale, and let's see what it produces. What you're seeing right now is the full article from Continent Scale. It included things like the title, the URL slug, the meta description, the key takeaways, the table of contents, conclusion, FAQ schema, and just a ton more. Just from this initial generation, there's very very little editing needed on my part. However, we always advocate that you follow our craft formula in order to make AI articles more of your own. That's going to be things like cutting the fluff and removing any unnecessary words or bodies of text that don't really line up with your overall message and theme. The next thing is to review, edit, and optimize that content. And you're going to want to add in any visuals or key pieces of media that you want to also include inside of that article. The next step in the framework is to fact check. You want to make sure that anytime a fact is made within the article itself, that you go through and you make sure that it's factual. After all, it's your brand and reputation on the line. So you want to make sure that all the content that you put on there is factual. And lastly, you want to trust build. And the best way to do this is crafting a story that resonates with your reader. And you can also edit your tone as well as add in links to add that extra trust for your reader. ChatGPT is no doubt a game changer when it comes to generalized use cases. For things like social media content, writing your YouTube scripts, creating product ideas, or a name for your new business, ChatGPT excels at that type of work. So it's important for you to understand when you're going to want a specialized AI versus a generalized AI. For long form content, we always suggest that you use a specialized AI so that way you have reliability, speed, and you don't have to handhold constantly through the entire process of creating your long form content. So if your goal is to write long form content, I highly suggest that you check out Content at Scale and see how crazy the difference is between ChatGPT and Content at Scale. And of course, you can always use our AI detector and put both articles through the detection software to see what you get back. Writing content with AI shouldn't be confusing and time consuming. That's why Julia, our VP of Marketing, created a framework for you to use to quickly speed up the amount of time that it takes for you to create content. Recently, Julia conducted a case study with Journey Engine and showed them the craft framework and how they can implement it in their business. We discovered that them using content at scale and implementing our AIO process would cut their costs by 25 times. That's insane. And that's not even to mention the time savings by using the craft framework and content at scale together. If you want to check out the craft framework and how you can implement it in your business, I highly suggest that you check out this video next that goes over our AIO processes and our craft framework. It's going to be a game changer for your business and you no longer have to be afraid of using AI in your business. It's right there.